Good morning, fam. It's your girl, Miss Davis. 6.30 in the morning. I'm down here in Tennessee. I'm doing this video for um, the people that have a CDL license, but you uh, have not went out with a trainer, okay? So if you got your license from like an outside company or you went and got your CDL on your own, then uh, you are able to come to a company called CFI, okay? Um, before I get into CFI and tell you the requirements for them, I did get an update yesterday. I got an email uh, that SWIFT is now doing hair follicle follicle test okay so before effective yesterday if you go to swift for training or um uh experienced driver whatever the case may be they will do a hair test okay um and i think the hair test uh goes back 90 days okay so it shouldn't be a problem but yes they are now doing hair tests the only thing um some people say that it's and accurate i don't know about that i do know that they effective yesterday will do hair tests okay um so be prepared for that um let's get into cfi cfi is a company that they hire um owner operators they hire solo drivers they hire teams they hire for regional freight they hire for um OTR okay they also uh, they also uh, have dry vans so they are dry van company okay um, you are required to get your hazmat with CFI I think they give you a certain period of time to obtain that but yes you need to have your hazmat with CFI um, you must be now I'm not going to talk about too much about the experienced drivers and the positions that they offer right now That will be a later video I can do but this video is going to be just for if you recently Graduated from CDL school and you need a place to go get your training um, They will take you with a CDL but less than three months experience. Okay, so the type of, of trucks they have is they got 10 speeds, 13 speeds, and automatics. Um, they take their trainees, uh, if you have less than three months OTR experience, will only take a recent, gradu a recent graduate that has graduated within the past 60 days and have attended a 160 hour school uh time with trainer will count as experience but if you went to school you completed your 160 hours they will uh take you okay um let's see where i was uh moving violations no more than three in the past three years no more than one moving violation uh in a private or commercial vehicle in the last 12 months any moving violations and um a private or commercial vehicle involving fatality um, in a lifetime must be pre-approved by management. No more than one serious moving violation in a, a commercial commercial vehicle in the last three years. So some of this pertains to experienced drivers, okay? Um, any uh, license suspension in the last five years for moving violations must be pre-approved by management. Uh, DOT recordable accidents. Uh, no more than this has to do with uh, experienced drivers. So let me just get students. Um, incidents no more than three in the past uh, three years. Uh, let's see. Prior employment record. So um, you can't have more than five jobs in the last three years. Okay. They don't have an unemployment policy. So if you've been unemployed, that uh, should not be a problem. Uh, let's see. Criminal. No sexual or drug related, no felonies in the past seven years, okay? Uh, DUI, DWI, none in the past five years and only one in a lifetime. Um, if the, that's for uh, experienced drivers about the DLT, you will do your DLT in orientation, your DLT physical. Uh, failed drug and alcohol test is an automatic disqualification. So let's go to trainees. We should have 160 hours. Okay, time and training will count. Local experience will not count. I did the moving violations. I did your accidents, incidents, tickets, 
uh, let's see, major, no policy, I went over that, convicted felons, uh, misdemeanors, uh, how old must they be, no sexual or drug related misdemeanors, okay, you have to get your hazmat, driver has 120 days to get their hazmat at CFI, um, the drug screening, they do a hair test, okay, it looks like everybody is going to the hair test, okay, um, Let's see, they do offer bonuses, but that's for experienced drivers. I just wanted to tell you about the type of equipment they have. T660s, T680s, International Pro Stars, Freightliners, Peterbilt's 587, Volvo 780 is only 6% of the fleet. Um, I told you about the transmission. Uh, average age of their tractors is about three years old. Um, the trucks go 65 miles per hour. Um, your, their trucks can be taken home for home time. Uh, they trucks are equipped with inverters, okay? Now, they have a 50 to 55% drop in hook, 97% no touch for the driver, and 3% of their loads are hazmat. Um, uh, they get paid every Friday by either direct deposit, com data, or standard check, okay? Um, primary running areas. CFI runs I-35 to the east. So they run from like Texas, that 35, all the way back over east, okay? Um, they do 48 states, uh, but the primary area is 35 east. Uh, solo drivers average around 21 to 2,500 miles a week. Uh, teams average around 41.55 a week. The average length of haul is going to be anywhere between 835 miles, 870 miles. Um, trainees, trainees go out with their driver finisher. Okay, they don't call their trainers uh, trainers. They call them driver finishers. A driver finisher for 7,500 miles. Okay. Uh, you take a final road evaluation and you upgrade until you're uh, on truck. So if you did 3,000 miles in a week, two weeks, that's 6,000. So you could be out of training within three weeks. Um, but normally you're probably going to be in tra training for four weeks. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, home time, you get one day off for every seven days. That's most places. Um, You get vacation, you get uh, the easy pass, pre-pass, layover pay, detention, multi-stop pay. You get an extra five cents a mile if you go into the five New York City uh, bor boroughs. Uh, they have safety bonus. They do have a rider policy. Um, your child must be 12 years old to ride on the truck with you. They have a pet policy. One cat or one dog per person with a $500 non-refundable uh uh fee for your pet okay no more than two pets allowed uh 24 hour dispatch they do people net for the qualcomm orientation is four to five days this is where they have orientation joplin missouri joplin missouri dallas texas birmingham alabama marion ohio phoenix arizona um, all orientation starts on Monday and ends on Thursday or Friday. Uh, you will be provided for your lodging. Uh, meals will be provided, which is your breakfast and lunch. Um, the way that you get to CFI is going to be on a bus, okay? The lovely Greyhound bus. Um, if you choose any other means of transportation, they will reimburse you for up to the price of a bus ticket. So if you want to drive, they will reimburse you for your fuel up to the price of a bus ticket. Okay, they do offer the insurance and all that kind of stuff. Let's go to their training. Now with their owner operators, I will tell you this. Okay, let's go to trainees. Uh, let's see their pay. Let me see if I can pull up the student pay. Driver pay. Uh, la, 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 payroll for company. Okay. If you have uh, 
one to 124,000 miles, you get paid 40 cents a mile. Team is 20, oh, solo, okay, 40 cents a mile, okay? So it's mile driven. So if you got two years experience, um, 41 cents, 42 cents, all the way up to 44 cents. The maximum uh, is, it looks like it's 43 cents. Um, training, uh, let's see. Solo rate for company drivers, less than one year of experience. Uh, for students, see the bottom of the page. All right, now zero, if you have zero to up to 7,500 miles, you get paid 26 cents per mile, okay? Um, if you have over 7,500 uh, miles to 59, 33 cents a mile. So I guess you move up to, The regular pay as if you come in experience but if you're a student it looks like you get if you have three to five bearable uh, uh let's see up to zero to seventy five hundred your pay rate is uh twenty six cents a mile uh student drivers will be paid accordingly and they will be see pay increase at the levels that indicate, okay? So the more miles you get, the more you get paid. You get detention pay. Uh, that talks about trainee pay. Uh, they offer safety bonuses. You get, uh, let's see, that's their pay. But they have a pretty big hiring area, okay? Also, they do offer uh, lease purchase and they do offer on an operator, okay? There may be a down payment for their lease purchase, but they do offer that. Now, for the owner operators, how much do they pay? 97 cents per mile loaded and empty dispatch miles okay if you have over eleven thousand miles a month you will receive a three cent increase for each mile driven the following month okay um teams earn a extra eight cents per mile after they drove uh eighteen thousand miles in a month you can get a extra incentive of uh, eight cents a mile if you're a team, three cents a mile if you're a solo driver. Um, let's see. But yeah, it looks like they pay 97 cents per mile um, for the lease purchase drivers. On the operators, lease purchase drivers. I guess you get the fuel surcharge as well. equipment their terminals their joplin missouri terminal is the main terminal but uh yeah if you have any other questions about cfi and uh also um uh, uh, going there for uh school for your training so they you're not going there to get like your permit or anything like that. You're going there if you already have a license and you need the experience to be a solo driver. You can go there uh, and team up with what is called a finisher. Uh, you got to do 7,500 miles to upgrade to your own truck, okay? So um, that's about CFI. That's just the training portion of it. I will break down in a later video about the lease op um, information. If you're interested in that, I told you about what the company drivers get paid. They do hire uh, teams. Um, and other than that, that's it for them, okay? So my next company that I'm gonna bring to y'all is going to be, I think, Snyder. Yeah, Snyder will hire you if you have a license.
but you don't have any experience okay so if this is another company if you have a cdl license no experience you will be able to go to Snyder. So let me do my stuff for Snyder and that will probably be in my next video, okay? So if you have any questions, don't forget, you can always call me 1-800-620-9235 if you have any questions about any of the schools, any of the places that will take you with a CDL, um, anything like that, give me a call so I will be able to uh, help you do that. Um, if you're ready to go, you already completed your CDL training, you ready to go, give me a call. We could, I can have you in orientation probably the following week, okay? So when y'all get ready to go to school or y'all get ready to get, come out here and get your training, when you call me, be ready to go because once I finish everything, you getting a ticket and you're out, okay? So if you got to tie up your uh, plans for the house, make sure the bills are paid, make sure your um, stuff is in storage, make sure all your personal things are taken care of at the house before you call me because once you call me it's 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 a done deal you are on your way out okay so be prepared to leave um make sure you have everything in order be prepared to leave because once you call me you're telling me Tamara I'm ready to go get my experience and um after that it's just the checks once you finish the checks you get a bus ticket and you're out okay so you could go ahead and start getting your experience and being out here on the road as a solo driver the other thing i wanted to bring to y'all today is don't forget download the apps all y'all got to do y'all keep asking me where you can take these uh practice tests and things like that here i'm gonna show you go to your uh google map uh google play or whatever it is type in cdl prep okay you have a whole list of tests, okay, that you can take to prepare yourself for the permit and the questions that they ask, okay? Um, for example, this one, do I have this one installed? Do I have this one installed? Okay, CDL prep, I have that. You can go in, it gives you that, take the practice exam. Okay, and it has over 239 questions, okay? This is just for practice. Whenever you're ready to take...